Hey, what's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews and this is my GoTrax e-scooter. This thing's pretty sweet. I did a video on this thing already doing some towing just for fun. Um, and I, I will say uh, it's been an overall awesome little scooter. Had one minor issue with it so far. Um, this is before I even made the towing video actually. Um, was that I, I said that um, I was noticing something only like three or four miles actually out of it. Wasn't really getting very far with it. And before the battery started quitting, I kind of go tracks. I said, hey, just a battery issue, no big deal. And they sent me out a new battery. So here's the old battery, pretty easy replacement. Um, other than that, you kind of need a pry bar to get it out of there because it's in there so tight and they put this double-sided tape on there. I can do a video on that later, guys, you want to see that. But wasn't a big deal to get the battery swapped out. And I kind of want to do a battery swap with this thing anyways to take like Makita XGT batteries, would be kind of cool. But anyways, this thing is actually a pretty sweet little scooter. And we've got drum brakes on the front and rear. We also do have a rear suspension, and it's cool because all this is adjustable. You can adjust the drum brakes on this side. We can also adjust both shocks as well, too. Although it really doesn't matter too much because this thing takes like 280 pounds, about 200 pounds myself. Even with 200 pounds, I feel like I'm overloading these shocks here pretty quick. The ride is decent. You can see that where the actual seat goes is right here that you're not really kind of getting that real amount of shock there. You're kind of sitting over the frame a bit, and the shocks there aren't doing a whole lot for the ride smoothest, but of course it's better than just, of course, having a straight frame with absolutely no suspension there. Uh, they are kind of cheaper Chinese tires here. Have an issue with the tires so far. They do leak a bit of air here and there, about, you know, 5 PSI a week at what I've noticed, but no problem to air them back up pretty easily, very easy to do, and you are off and rolling. Now, the back lights and front lights are actually pretty sweet. Uh, the back light is, of course, a nice brake light. If I hit the brakes here, <clears throat> get that nice brake flash, and that's as long as I hold down the brake lever, which is awesome, because you're sitting at a light. Of course, you want that to continuously flash, not just flash for like two seconds and then turn off, but of course it keeps flashing regardless. All right, moving up from, we got a nice little light, which it's not that great of a light in the dark. Um, it's really just more of like a very small spotlight. You do have to adjust it a little bit, you know, from going front to back. Uh, if you have it down too low, you're just illuminating right in front of you, not very useful, it's too high, and so they're not doing anything for you at all. Like I said, you have front drum brakes, which are adjustable. The brakes are very sticky. It's not like it's like a smooth, like come to a stop. Um, I got mine adjusted kind of a bit on the heavier side where they're actually like way more sensitive and they come to a stop rather quickly. You can, of course, you know, stop these so hard where you are going to basically just slide the tires. That's totally possible. That's good though, because then you actually have, actually have decent quality brakes on there that are stopping you pretty hard. I'm right, moving up towards the handlebars. Here's what you're going to see when you are riding the Go Tracks. Uh, we've got, got a fuel gauge, which is sort of accurate. Um, I've noticed that this thing will go down if you're, you know, going pretty quick. It'll go down to like two or three bars, then come right back up to four bars when you are stationary, which is kind of annoying. It's not super accurate to see how well of a battery you're doing. You do get three keys, which is cool. So you've got basically off, you've got just lights, and then you've got actual power, which is great. You get this nice little uh, clip here. So you've got like my mailbox key, pair of sunglasses on here, which is awesome. And then of course you've got a phone mount as well too. So you've got rear brakes and then you've got front brakes right here. When you get this thing out of the box, you need to put the handlebars on and there's two little bolts here, very easy to put on. All right, so one, some of you guys may be wondering what happened to my back basket here. Well, I tow a ton of stuff. I'm sure you're wondering, what do you mean by I tow a ton of stuff? Well, I got this from Vivor, sent this over my way. We'll do a review, we'll do a review on this very shortly. Very awesome off-road kind of heavy-duty trailer. But I got this uh, Gorilla, um, what's it, Gorilla something here. And it's a Gorilla kind of cart. And it's amazing because it's actually super light, four wheels here. It holds about 1,200 pounds. And it's actually got a golf cart hitch, which I just put right in the basket and go from there. So, yeah, it does, you know, kind of beat up the GoTrax a little bit. But I have towed just tons of stuff with this little uh, GoTrax thing. You know, I throw this thing full of tree branches, take it to the burn pile, uh, full of mail, full of trash, doesn't matter. It hauls everything. This GoTrax thing has been awesome. So that's where I'm getting the damage in the basket here. I bought this thing to be a workhorse, and I'm actually been pretty impressed by how well it does. Um, this thing can haul, I think I've hauled up to about 200 pounds in a trailer, and it's really done it almost no problem here. Um, of course, I keep some bungee cords on here. I get some packages in the mail. My mailbox is like half a mile away, so <laughs> this thing really comes in handy. Um, I also keep a razor strap in here for, you know, just strapping other stuff down. Um, I am not taking these in this thing at all. I really love to test these things out. Uh, GoTrax did not send this to me. I bought this myself on Amazon. I'll throw a link in the description if you want to check that out. 
Um, I bought this one mostly because it has such a high weight capacity. So it basically 80 extra pounds for towing <laughs> what I use it for pretty much there. Uh, moving on to the seat here. I do like how easy this thing is to break down. Boom, just like that. Simple switch here. You just kind of undo with the lever. You pull the seat out. I'll go again, quick release lever, and boom, it fits right in the trunk, right in the back of a truck. No problem. I've already carried this thing around a couple of times, and it has been absolutely fantastic for just how mobile this thing is. Um, it's basically like a skateboard grip here on this. It is actually decently wide enough. I can fit both my feet on that, no problem when I'm driving. Kickstand is awesome. Uh, overall, this thing actually has a pretty decent construction. I've been amazed just how much like abuse this thing has taken um, out here. I've driven this thing like off-road in the grass all the time. It does it no problem. So guys, let's go for a drive and see what this thing does. All right, so let's take a ride on this GoTrax Flex. Um, this thing is actually pretty quick. So I'm about half throttle right now, as you can see the speed I'm doing. You know, pretty pretty good cruising speed here. I've got a full throttle. You're not going to see like, you know, immediate speed like a gas engine or anything really, but it's got some pep to it. And I will say I'm definitely impressed by how much power it's got. Uh, when you're towing, you're going to be doing about this much speed here. You with like 200 pounds on a trailer. It's pretty amazing how fast you can really get cruising on this thing. So I've been really impressed by just, you know, how good this thing cruises, how much power it's got for such a cheap little, you know, e-scooter here. I'm really happy with it so far. So yeah, overall, the GoTrax Flex little scooter here, been super happy with this thing. You know, it's not really an e-bike. It's not really a scooter. It's kind of something in between here. But, you know, for what I'm using it for, for, you know, on the farm use here out in the country, I've been super happy with this thing. Um, with the new battery installed, replacement battery, it does amazing now. I'm actually getting pretty much, I think about 15 to 18 miles out of it now. Um, not hitting full speed essay all the time. There's some little bit of roads here I can't go full speed on, but it does absolutely amazing. You know, I'm surprised how much I can tow with this thing. It's got some low end pep to it that I've definitely took on, took me by surprise here. But guys, I definitely recommend this thing. You want to check it out, link in the description, check it out. Um, 300 bucks is kind of really hard to beat. I got kind of tired of, you know, buying like gas mini bikes. They have more power, yeah, but I was doing a lot more maintenance on them that I felt like I was wasting a ton of time. I was buying gas for it. All the maintenance on it kind of got to me. I'm like, you know, if I didn't buy an e-scooter, you know, like once every couple of years, I think I'd be way better off and having spending a lot less time maintaining this stuff and just using it. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.